In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create groups in Canvas. To do that, you go to People, and now you will see uh, Groups here. Uh, what you do is you create a group set, okay? Uh, let's say week one, I have a group. And you can have them sign up themselves or you can just automatically split them into different groups let's say i'm going to split them into two groups and you can require group members to be in the same section if you have cross-listed sections so if you have cross-listed sections it is actually pretty important for you to check those so that people from different sections are not assigned to the same group or you can just uh, create a groups manually and, and then you can assign people to these groups yourself. Um, you can also assign a group leader. So let me not leave this checked for the time being. And uh, I'm just going to split this students into two groups automatically. And I'm going to click on save. Now you will see it is randomly assigning students to these two groups. Okay, so this is going to uh, automatically uh, assign. It may take a while for this to, to finish. Once it is done, you can click on this little arrow here and see who is in which group. You can also rename the groups, okay, if you want to. Um, once a group has been created, you can just go to uh, assignment to uh, assign group assignments, okay? So let's say the first assignment, module one assignment, I want to make this a group assignment. Uh, let's change the point to 100. And if I make this a, a group assignment, um, you can later on, you can just assign grades to each student individually. Um, but if you don't check this, uh, the group will as get the same um, grades once somebody has submitted and you have assigned a grade. And now you choose a group category. So you click on this drop down menu to find week one group, okay? You can also see that you can actually create a new group category without going to people. So this is a new feature. And let's try that for our next assignment, okay? And you save this. So now you have the group assignment for the first week. So for the next week, either you go to uh, the assignment for next week. Let's just say this time I go to module to find that. So module one assignment is uh, assigned to group uh, group set one. And for the second assignment, module two assignment, to an edit. Uh, once again, I want to make this uh, a group assignment. This time, I'm going to create a new group category. It will be the same as uh, creating the groups within people. Okay, so I'm going to click on new group category, and I will say week two groups. And once again, I split them into two groups. Um, and this time, for the second week, I'm going to assign a student group leader. So it's randomly selected. Uh, it can be the first student to join uh, or set a random student as a group leader. So I am going to click on Save right now. And I save it and publish this assignment. So once this group is created within the assignment, I believe it is also showing up under people. So you see, indeed, there is a week one group, and then there is a week two group, uh, and these groups are different, okay? So these are different groups. You, of course, you can have them uh, as the same group persisting throughout the semester if you create only one project group uh, set. So the idea is it's a group set, okay? As more students are added in class later on, uh, you may also be able to find them under people and then within different groups and you can just add a student to a specific group or create a new group for that group set and then assign the 
assignment to them accordingly. Uh, you do the same actually for um, in discussion groups. So you also create these groups for discussions, and when they when you create uh, discussions, you will have the ability to have the group discussions. That way, you can just uh, cut down on the number of people in each discussion uh, forum. Uh, you can also go to group pages yourself. Okay, you click here. You see, there's a John Public and Ron Walker in this group. I want to see、uh, what they are up to because they each have their group space. Once you have created these groups, so click on that visit groups. This is their group space. So you see that、uh, week one group one has their space where they can just、uh, create announcements, pages,、um, discussions, share files, and start conferences. And collaborate,、uh, start a collaboration using Google Doc or Google Slides, things like that.、Um, so each group has their own、uh, space to work with. So how do you get to this space? For a student to go to the group space, it's pretty simple. Let me just show you quickly. So I am、um, pretending to be Mary Jones for this time. So let's see from Mary Jones' view what the group is like. So Mary Jones will need to go to people and go to groups, and this is the group space for、uh, Mary Jones for week one. This is a group space for Mary Jones for group two. For group for week two,、uh, Mary Jones can also manage that group as a leader. Okay. So let's say I'm going to visit this group. So now Mary Jones can start pages, can see what people are in those pages, and do all of the things that are available、uh, from the student groups. Okay. So now let's go back.、Uh, so basically, that's how groups work in Canvas. And feel free to let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.